run Battle Brawlers in, the Brawlers last stand! Destroyer is collapsing. But sadly, we sacrificed ourselves to protect it. And for what? Is there nothing we can do? Not from here in the Doom Dimension. We must find someone to save Destroyer before it's annihilated. We need six new brave soldiers. No! This cannot be happening! There is no escape from the Doom Dimension! This have happened to me. <laughs> Welcome to my world, Drago. Huh? Reaper! My goodness, I never expected to see you here, friend. But now that you've arrived, don't expect any special treatment. I'm trapped! Drago! Uh, what? Uh, I. I must be hearing things. Drago! What? what? No! no! It can't be! Drago! Dan? Drago! Da Drago! Daniel! Drago! Ah! How are you feeling, Hydranoid? Never more ready to battle! And feeling stronger every minute. My little plan is working to perfection since I defeated my teammates. Not to mention that mindless moron Daniel and his pathetic pesky pet Drago. Now let's see who shall be our next victim. Ah uh, yes, just as I suspected, Shun Kazami and his Ventus Skyrus. So, honey, what exotic locale did our young son fly off to this time? Hmm? Well, let me think. Last month, Dan jetted off to visit his Bakugan friend Joe in Kier City. I just adore Kier City, especially in the spring. It's so pretty. <laughs> Lucky kid. When I was his age, I'd never been anywhere. Except a school tour of a morgue. Well, off to work. Love ya, hun. Ditto, dear. <sighs> that reminds me. He said he was going to call. Here, Mom. Huh? I got you a little something for your birthday. You're right. I... I forgot. Bye. I'll call you, Mom! <laughs> oh. Dan. <laughs> Drago! Dan! Drago, no! Good morning, Shun. Hey, Skyrus. Man, that was some nightmare. Well, you are safe and sound in Marucho's house. Uh, good morning, sir. Excuse me, but your breakfast is ready in the main dining hall. Thanks, Kato. Huh? What's this? It's a note from Masquerade. Meet me at the abandoned factory at four o'clock. Shun, no! Skyrus, you've got to do me a big favor. Sure, Shun. Anything. Bruno, get up! It's late! Eat your breakfast and come down to work. Your father's waiting! Well, good morning, Alice. What's wrong? Your watch broken? Huh? Oh, and uh, what exactly is going on between you and Bruno? Oh, well, uh, huh? yes, we're open. Good morning. Uh, uh, and a good morning to you, Mrs. Cuso. Huh? I was wondering if Runo was here. So, 
Oh, you wanted to talk to me? It's Dan. He hasn't been home since yesterday. Huh? I thought you might know where he is, Runo. No. No clue. Does this have something to do with Bakugan? Huh? Well, does it? Well, I'm not... That's all he ever talks about. Either he's off playing or online chatting away about the game. Daniel, did you wash up? Lunch is ready. Come and get it. Yeah, yeah, I heard you. But I gotta go out. Catch you later, Mom. Where are you going? Are you home for dinner? Oh. Kids these days. Huh. Oh, no. What a disaster. Well, better get started. What's this? Must be some kind of new toy. Oh! <gasps> so this is a Bakugan ball. Interesting. My goodness. Dan must be here somewhere, huh? Marucho, wait! Sorry, Mrs. Cuso, but I'm in a hurry! Oh, thanks for waiting, guys! I finally finished them! Mm -hmm. That's my Daniel! Sweet! Awesome-looking Bakugan launcher! Bakugan? Oh, man! Totally wicked! Awesome job, Marucho! Hey, no fair! Do I get one, or don't I rig? Have no fear, Runo. I've constructed a model just for you! At the time, I thought it was just a silly kid's game, so I gave Dan his space. You really gotta stop worrying, Drago. We both know Wavern has the Infinity Core, and now all we have to do is wait for the other Bakugan to evolve. Huh? Who is he talking to? Yeah, it's only gonna get tougher from now on, so we'd better rest up before our next few battles, because we need to save up our energy. Know what I'm saying, Drago? I actually saw him talking to his Bakugan. Uh... What are Bakugan? Um, well, they're, uh... Please, tell me! Is it more than just a game? Well, it's... kinda... like this. I'm sorry, I can't! <laughs> Bruno! <laughs> now I'm worried. More Bakugan Battle Brawlers coming up after these messages! Now, back to Bakugan Battle Brawlers. Uh, why so glum, chum? Turn that frown upside down! Look on the bright side! We got each other, don't we? Well, don't we? I don't believe now is the time for a pep talk, Reyes. We must remain focused. Oh my, what's wrong? Breakfast not up to snuff? Bacon too crisp, eggs too runny? No, Kato, everything's fine. It's just that we've got a lot on our minds, that's all. It's not you. Uh, don't worry, I'm not much of a cook. Uh, by the way, Master Marucho, Alice and Runo are here. You may! So, do you have any good news for us, huh? Oh, is it true what they say? Is my darling Dan trapped in the Doom Dimension forever? Yes, and unfortunately, by my calculations, there's nothing any of us can do. I suggest we confide our dilemma to a responsible adult. Hmm? Yeah, but what would we say? Uh, excuse me, but one of our friends was playing Bakugan when he was suddenly sucked into the Doom Dimension? I'm just guessing, but no matter who we told, they would think we were nuts. Yes, point well taken, Joe. We must, huh? Yes. Listen, Dan's mom stopped by the restaurant this morning and she said she had to talk to her. <gasps> she was asking whether Bakugan was just a game. Ah! Everyone, everyone, follow me. Ooh, this sounds delish. <laughs> I just love surprises. This had better be good, sister. Oh, I hate water. If I get wet, I'll break out in a horrible rash. It's called rust, Preus. Now let's hear what Skyrus has to say. Go ahead, we're all ears. Thank you, I called you here to tell you Shun received a challenge from Masquerade to battle. Are you serious? This is big news! Shouldn't everyone hear this? I'm not so sure. Skyrus, you've got to do me a big favor. Yes? I need you to lose. 
Against Masquerade. What are you saying? I have to get to the Doom Dimension and bring Dan back. Shun said just he and I must go. And he said I shouldn't breathe a word of this to anyone. I can't believe Shun would do that. That's nuts! Shun is starting to make me look like I'm the normal one! Scary. He says it's our only hope to save Dan. But I'm worried we've already allowed the humans to get too involved in our dilemma. You're right, Skyrus. This is our problem. It started when Naga destroyed the balance of power in Vistroya. It is our world that is on the verge of destruction. The humans must be spared. Ah, nuts. It's up to us to save Dan. Agreed. Yes. Huh? Skyrus? Huh? Where did Tigrera go? Yes, and where's my Prius? Gorham? Where's Gorham gone? Well, they all left the room a couple of minutes ago. <laughs> Actually, they all waddled out. <gasps> but I wonder why. <sighs> it's almost four o'clock. That leaves less than two hours before I'm supposed to meet up with Masquerade. Is there something wrong? No, nothing. But we better find our Bakugan. No, wait! What are you hiding? What precisely is going on here? It appears someone has stolen your other roller skate, Master Norucho. <laughs> Sick ride, dudes! <laughs> Kicking it old school on Grandma's gnarly deck! <laughs> Do you know the legend of the six soldiers of Astroya? No, so fill me in, Slim! A long time ago, when Vistroya was on the verge of destruction, these legendary soldiers put themselves on the line to save it. You're not saying what I think you're saying, are you? Their sacrifice will never be forgotten. Now it's our turn to save Vistroya. It's our duty, Breas. Hey! I never signed up for this gig! Feeling so good. <laughs> you know, I just can't believe you, Shun. Not telling anyone about your note from Masquerade. We're all supposed to work as a team, and you're a part of it! Back off! Excuse me? You're not so cool. Found them! Huh? I found them over here in the grass! Ooh. Did somebody get the number of that bus? Bruno, m'lady, how nice to see you! <laughs> Sorry for making you worry. What were you thinking, Tigrera? Don't do that again. Of course, however, we don't want to be a burden on you and your friends. This is our battle and Stop we want... it! As you wish. We're in this together. You have to remember that, okay? I shall. Oh, Gorham, never run away like that ever again, okay? Now you listen. Best friends always stick together. And that goes for you as well, Shun. Hmm. That goes double for me. If anyone's going to save Dan, we're going to go as a team. Okay, but there's a real good chance we will never come back. Shun, cut the drama, would you? You have to be positive about this. What do you say? I believe we at least give it a try. You sure? We're all sure. <sighs> okay, I'm in. All right, guys. 50 minutes to meet up with Masquerade. Oh, that doesn't give us much time, does it? Hi, Mom. Just called to say everything's cool. You should see Marucho's apartment. It's sick! Oh, and I'm going to be staying a little longer. Hmm. Is that cool with you? Well, is it, Mom? Is it? I promise I'll call every day. It's nice to hear your voice, too, Grandpa. Everything's fine. And I promise I'll pick up some denture adhesive for you. I'll see you later. <laughs> Mother, Father, thank you for letting my friends stay over. That was very nice. But we need to take a little trip. <laughs> yeah, do be careful. Thanks. I must be on my way. Oh, and remember, Marucho, bring clean underwear. Excuse me. 
If you require assistance on your journey, I would be pleased to accompany you. Thanks! But this time I'll be using public transportation like regular people! But, sir! I'm fine, all right? Oh, I... Yes, I understand, sir. I bid you a pleasant and safe journey, young master. You're going on another trip? But why? Well, I've... I've got to help a friend out. <laughs> but you don't have to worry, because I'll stay behind and help out here. <gasps> well, I, uh... I gotta run. Catch you later. Are you sure you don't need me? I really want to come with you guys. No, Alice. Stay here and help. Oh. So, gotta go. Look after my parents while I'm gone, okay, Alice? This is all my grandfather's fault. <laughs> I wish you weren't healthy. I wish this never happened. <laughs> Hello? Yes, this is Dan's mom. Just wanted to say Dan will be home soon. Where is he? I wish I could tell you that now, but I can't. Just don't you worry, okay? Please stop playing games, Bruno. Bruno, come back! I am Masquerade. And I'm Shun. <laughs> Well, Shun, I don't remember inviting your little friends to our rendezvous. For your information, we're a team! And we don't need no stinking invitation, Masquerade! Get over yourself! And if you want to play, you play the Brawlers. So now's the time for you to either put up or shut up. <laughs> <sighs> I'm sure this is where Runo called from. At least I think so. You do realize that if I defeat all four of you, my Hydronoid's power will go right off the charts. So are you in, or are you out? Uh? Are you ready to play? Yeah, let's do this! Hang in there, Dan. We're coming for you. Bruno! Field open! What's... what's going on? Hey, excuse me. Where did everyone go? Doom Dimension. Please, Runo, bring Dan back safe and sound. I have never seen such a place. Creepy! Very creepy. Yes, I've never seen any place that looks so desolate. This dimension has a putrid odor. Never mind the smell. Gosh, we gotta find my Dan and quick! Our best chance of finding him is to search from the air. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't believe these fools have entered the Doom Dimension voluntarily. But didn't they come to save one of their own? Well, personally, I admire their courage. And I scoff at their sheer stupidity. Scoff if you will, Clave. But I suggest we get them to help us in this place. A good idea indeed. I recommend you rethink that suggestion. Can we really trust these humans for such a grand task? Not to mention their Bakugan have not yet evolved and are weak. Something tells me they have great potential. Here's a thought. We should test them. Hmm. Yes, an excellent idea. A 
Allow me to introduce myself. I am Gorum, Bakugan to Julie. On the next episode of Bakugan Battle Brawlers, you will find us in the Doom Dimension on our quest to find Dan and Drago and return them to the human world. But first, the brawlers must be tested. And first up is Julie. She must use her patience and skills to pass, or she may find herself in the Doom Dimension for an eternity. That's coming up on the next Bakugan Battle Brawlers.